Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where probably the last video or two was like some random missions that I did while uh, streaming which I just finished doing um, and I ran got a snack and then I was like oh, good. I have time I might as well uh, carry on <laughs> so but I specifically didn't want to do any like super big main missions on while I was streaming just in case the video doesn't quite work out, which I still haven't looked at it. So hopefully it all worked out. If not, you didn't miss much. Just vibing through space. Uh, doing some side missions. Here we go. Yep. So we can still keep following that. Yeah, we did that. From. Oh! I've been doing some. Oh, yes, this was the woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been digging through the Alari. I just wanted you to know that I did find a few things from the experiments Railzor was conducting. Had you shared them with me, humanity might have reaped the benefits and said, once my own experiments are complete, you and your people will watch from a distance as the Quarren people reclaim not only their home world, but the larger synthetic army in the galaxy. Railzor's death will not have been in vain. I will complete what he started. Cordially. Admiral Darzen vs. Mor- Oh, this woman is crazy. <laughs> like, low-key crazy. Um, she's the one who was, like, wanting- Yeah, wanting to take back the Geth, essentially. And, uh, make, like, their rightful place as, you know, owners of a sentient species because she doesn't see them as sentient. Oh, anyway. We see her later. And we did that. Uh, so, what we're going to do, because we are very nearly done with all of the, these, <laughs> with all of the personal missions, uh, we should have Legion left. The Legion has learned the Geth heretics have adapted a Reaper virus, which when uploaded will compel normal Geth to join them in the war against organic life. And he, it, does not want that. And then I'll have to figure out, again, because I've already looked at it a little bit, what order I want to start doing the DLCs on. And I do still, like, part, as I think I mentioned in the last video, part of my, me running around this galaxy is in an effort to make sure I get all of the side missions done, even though they're not, like, nothing crazy usually. Um, you know, but it's still nice for the XP and the, and the, just the story, you know, running around the galaxy, finding things, doing stuff. Um... Help Legion, um, but also because I would, I really like to get 100% on all of the systems. So I'm not there yet. I'm getting there, but uh, not not yet. <laughs> so, but let's go do this. The Legion, our final friend that we acquired, and the one who we have sacrificed many people for. <laughs> It was my decision. This is, I think, what used to be a Quarian system. Let me just mine these while I'm here really quick. Probe away. Honestly, two and a half hours of this has been pretty brutal. Besides being hungry, I was also like, I'm bored. Launching a probe. But, like I said, just in case the Twitch file messes up, I don't want to, I didn't want to do anything super significant, so. Here we are now, doing significant things. You know, I don't think there's actually a benefit to this. I'm pretty sure I've gotten most everything that I need for the upgrades. I could probably just run around clicking on these planets. I'll have to check and see if there's like a bonus in Mass Effect 3 for having a bunch of minerals. I think they give you something. But that might just be Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2 giving you... Because you get you have to get the achievement, the minerals probe. achievement, in order to like start out with like a certain number of minerals in this game. Launching probe. Resources. So we had to move over here in order to help Legion at the Heretic Station. I'm surprised Project Overlord's out here. I mean, they, they to do what they want to do, you have to be very, very far on the Terminus systems. But still, there's, there's a reason this like Perseus Vale area has geth activities. Well, there's a reason there's not a lot of people out there. It's because there's a lot of geth activity in the Perseus Vale. 
One's called Haratar by the Quarians. The space station was stripped of use of technology by the fleeing migrant fleet when they left the Perseus Vale 300 years ago. A little more than a cold matter superstructure floating in the void, the station was removed from star charts by 2050. Uh, scans indicate the station was reconstructed and upgraded in a massive effort that must have taken at least 10 years, implying that there may have been some geth outside the veil before the infamous attack on Eden Prime. Needing little but a fuel source, it could have been hidden here for much longer without attracting attention from the barren worlds around Tesra or the clueless Elcor in the Sahala Hale system. Nice. Heretic Station, as Legion refers to it, is home to a Geth data core capable of broadcasting fast distances through type beam projection. Approximately 6.6 .6 million copies of Geth software are stored in the station, the majority of which are kept bottleless in servers and downloaded into legged platforms when needed. The station's population of legged platforms is approximately 2.4 million. So there's 2.4 million machines running around over there. Tally is an interesting one to bring on this one. It's I feel like it's only fair to bring Tally because she has uh, an interesting opinion, very opposite. Well, not very opposite, semi-opposite of Legion's in this instance. And it's also only fair, like I said. Uh, let's bring the art projector since we're gonna be fighting a boatload of Geth. Since they brought Legion on hers, is what I'm trying to say for the last, like, two minutes. Mostly, Legion doesn't say much about hers, though. You know, it's just our heat emissions that are hidden, right? They could look out a window and see us coming. Windows are structural weaknesses. Geth, do not use them. Approach the hull at these coordinates. Access achieved. <laughs> we may proceed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I need to do in the robot. <laughs> like, come, come on, Joker. <laughs> Alert! This facility has little error gravity. You Can't could have told us that earlier. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, obviously, I knew that, but like, because I'm wearing my stuff. But won't we be detected? Don't they have intrusion alarms? Sensors have been reduced. We have infiltrated their wireless network and filled the data storage with random bits. And that helps us how? The heretics must scrub this junk data. They have partitioned themselves into local networks working in parallel. Any alarm we trigger will not go beyond the room we are in. Only accessing the main core will trigger a station-wide alert. We've got a job to do. Let's get to it. Shepard Commander. We concluded that destruction of this station was the only resolution to the heretic question. There is now a second option. Their virus can be repurposed. If released into the station's network, the heretics will be rewritten to accept our truth. Either way, these geth won't be a problem anymore. But Shepard, think about this. If you rewrite these geth, they'll join the others. Legion's geth will be stronger. Can we trust them not to attack us in the future? Yes, this is why it's good. I think everybody will say something, but I but I think Tally's is a little more in-depth, but I'm not 100%. Don't quote me. Why didn't you mention this before we came aboard? We did not know the virus was complete. It is. It can be used against the true Geth at any time. Our arrival was timely. The true Geth. Interesting that he differentiates himself that way. They're your people, Legion. You must have an opinion. This is new data. We have not yet reached consensus. We will process as the mission proceeds. I feel like, well, let's just, I usually try to be neutral sometimes, just, but, uh, but yeah, this is, this is my feeling on it, generally. I wouldn't brainwash an organic race. I can't see treating the Geth differently. The question is irrelevant. If we do not rewrite them, we just That's a fair them. point. That is why we are here. Do not hesitate now. That is a they fair point. They exterminate your species because their gods tell them to. You cannot negotiate with them. They do not share your pity, remorse, or fear. Oh, this is actually a super heavy question, or a super heavy circumstance, honestly. Like, do you, you know, rewrite them and let them live by just changing, like, a tiny partition of their core functioning? Um, or... The get of inactive. Maybe we can sneak past them. Or do you destroy them? We recommend preemptive strikes against hardwing routers. Or do you destroy them and like let them essentially like die themselves? You know, like die, like be destroyed as themselves.
Connect to the main computer to exchange data memories and program updates. We gain complexity by linking together. To be isolated within a single platform is to be reduced. We see less, comprehend less. It is quieter. If you exchange data memories, how do you keep track of which ones are yours? How do you stay you? There is only we. We were created to share data among ourselves. The difference between Geth is perspective. We are many eyes looking at the same things. One platform will see things another does not, and will make different judgments. I can see why you'd be conflicted about the heretics. In a way, whatever you do to them, you're doing to yourself. Yes. Once they return to us and upload their memories, we will share their experience of being altered. Every other species I know of might be psychologically scarred by a traumatic experience like that. It is not clear if Geth can be traumatized. We do not feel pain as you do. We cannot predict what the effects will be. Let's keep moving. Yes. Uh, I actually can't remember what I do. I'm pretty sure the Paragon action is to... Oh, I'm pretty sure the Paragon action is to rewrite them. We can assume control of any defensive turret. They will assist us. Acknowledge. Um, and then the destruction, destruction is renegade or something, I think, yeah. Rewriting is paragon, but I could, I, it could be flipped because I think this is usually one of the only missions on my paragon, geez, on my paragon runs where I do the renegade decision. Enemy disabled. Nice. I need to double check. Okay, yeah. That is an interesting point that the wiki brings up. Yeah, I was right. We will rewrite them as the Paragon option, and destroying them is the Renegade one, even though throughout, and the article points out, throughout the game, as we will see, and as we've seen a little bit, the... It is con the Paragon pushes how unethical it is to rewrite them. Um, but in the end, apparently the Paragon has like a change of heart because I guess the way it boils down, right, is like destruction is a very, I think I think that maybe the writers were conflicted on this, you know, and just weren't sure how to like make it work, but, but destruction tends to be more of a renegade option and conservation tends to be more of a Paragon option. Um, but like also like, you know, free autonomy, you know, and like freedom of autonomy and all that stuff tends to be a paragon thing, whereas renegade tends to be more about control. Um, but this one, this one, this is a really difficult mission for paragons, I think, because you really do have to decide if you're willing to get a big chunk of renegade or if you are, you know, going to just try to play pure paragon and like sort of headcanon that you're that your paragon ship has like changed or like doesn't at the end like despite thinking it is probably unethical to rewrite um that they don't want to just de destroy an entire group you know what i mean so we'll see i'm pretty sure i usually pick the the renegade option here and it's usually end game so you're hopefully good to go weapons ready you know Eee, there's two of them. So you're usually good to go. Like, with your Paragon Renegade scores. Yeah, actually. Get him. Sucks. 
Maybe I'm using it wrong, to be fair. Legion, I'm having a hard time differentiating you. He's fine. How convenient that they're localized and that we're only finding like three per. There's 2.4 million of them here, and we're gonna manage to only run into like 20 on our way to the central hub. Like, I, I'm, t mm, it becomes into like, it sort of becomes this like almost like tyrant dictatorship thing where it's like, I know best and I will tell you what's best for you. I will rewrite your entire ideology because I believe it's right. Like, I believe my perspective is right. And in this instance, yes, like we are correct, right? That like, um, you know, just killing off a bunch the sapient species, you know, it, organic species is not a, not a good idea. Like it's not, it's not, it's not like a matter necessarily of like ideological differences. It's like, oh, Nazis have a good point too. Like, no, they don't. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like that. But like when your whole when your whole ideology rests on a point of like extermination of others and the inability to like interact with people who are different than you like you don't you don't really get rights you know what i mean like you don't you don't get to have, sit down at the table and like have a discussion with people like you just don't like there is nothing reasonable about what you say and what you think you know so ah, either way um and like what tally says is right you know is is, is technically correct like Either way, these geth aren't going to be a problem for us if we destroy them or rewrite them. But then, it, so then it becomes like it's not—it's not about like oh, what's more advantageous to me necessarily. It's more about you know like the moral implications of it. Although to be fair, you you kind of hope that like if you don't rewrite the geth, why is this like have like like mass? <laughs> Um, you kind of hope that if you rewrite the Geth and they join the Geth that don't want to, you know, destroy all organic species like Legion, um, that they could be allies in the future. Um, and spoilers, that is pretty sure that's how that works. Um, you get, like, an increased Geth presence to, like, like, a, like to help you. Um. Give me. Um, but yeah, it's... So, especially in this game, right, it's not necessarily about, like, what you gain. It's about what you think is right. And, I guess, major, major spoilers for how, I mean, like, I, I've had this up on my YouTube channel, too, for ages. But the, the end goal I end up picking with, um, like, the end of Mass Effect 3 is, spoilers for the next three seconds, synthetic. Um, which... I've had people point out to me is kind of basically right. rewriting everybody, you know, and it kind of takes away the choice, like the freedom of choice for everyone by like, you, you take away their choice to choose to be rewritten. You decide to rewrite them, essentially. Not like, it's not like as bad as it sounds, at least like in my mind, like maybe it is, but um, you are... You're basically trying to make everybody get along, I guess, is how I, you could put it, right? And I, I can't have a very nuanced discussion of this while I'm trying to shoot things at the same time. I've actually I had... I have no idea Geth built stations this large. The station is over 15 kilometers long. That room may run the length of it. 
um, in the comment section of my Mass Effect 3 video, like of the very first Mass Effect 3 series, the very first series I uploaded to YouTube, there's pretty good discussions down in those comments um, about like me being like, oh, I hadn't even thought about it that way, you know, because I was just like, oh, look, the solution to make everybody get along, you know, and like we can all understand each other and we'll, we'll, we will all be improved by these potential kind of like enhancements for each like organic and sapient like the line blurs a bit you know um and i was like this is obviously the best solution the one where everybody is it which way am i supposed to go is it that one yeah um it's where everybody shoot i'm like so, i'm sorry i'm getting distracted but like Basically, like, it, it facilitates understanding for everybody, at least in my mind. Um, I am going... Okay, I am going the right way. And, like, there's the least amount of, like, you know, there's no, no unnecessary deaths anymore. Like, there's just, there's no need to, like harvest or take over or subjugate people who you can intimately understand you know what i mean and like for me it was like all these differences they weren't necessarily like combining um but like it was basically a facilitation of like the understanding of everybody's differences um uh, but with what where i didn't know where it was oh there you are and i ate that when the charge doesn't work Anyway, so now I'm like totally re-seeing, like, I'm like reanalyzing from a different perspective, seeing that a, a microcosm of that decision essentially in this one, where, yeah, like I can make a decision to rewrite an entire species essentially. Oh, no, about this. Um. Without them knowing, kind of, you know? Successful shot. Come on. Like changing somebody from the inside out so that lives are not lost. And I know life is different, sort of, for the guests, but like I think of them as lives. They have, they're sentient, you know? Like sentient intelligences. <laughs> um, but. Um, so now I can choose to bring them to what I see as like the path of righteous righteousness or whatever, um, or I don't know. See, now I'm torn. Now I'm like almost arguing they myself out of it because I know what my final decision is. And to be fair, like my chef does change throughout, at least in my head canon, she changes. Like in the first game, she totally puts down that Krogan the Krogan cure because she honestly thinks like at the time she's like we can't like if the Krogan just like start breeding wildly again like they'll just take over the galaxy again blah 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 and there's a scene in Mass Effect 3 where you can talk to Rex about it and it's like really intense honestly and my shepherd does express regret like because I choose to right like I choose the dialogue option that lets me express regret for that decision that it wasn't my decision to make necessary you know what i mean like so i mean people can change your, your shepherd can change uh, but and honestly since i hadn't really considered that thing about the synthesis decision Are these databases? Processors. Each contains thousands of Geth. Can't they see us walking by? They are no more aware of us than you are of cells in your bloodstream. This isn't like the other hubs we've seen here. This is a database. It contains a portion of the heretic's accumulated memories. Wait. We discovered copies of our current patrol routes in this database. 
this suggests the heretics have link times within our networks. They wouldn't be here if the heretics wanted to be friends with the Geth. Why wouldn't they spy on you? You do not understand. Organics do not know each other's minds. Geth do. We are not suspicious. We accept each other. The heretics desired to leave. We understood their reasons. We allowed it. There was peace between us. It couldn't have lasted forever. You disagreed about what path your race should take. Human history is a litany of blood shed over differing ideals of rulership and afterlife. Geth have no such history. We shared consensus on such things. How could we have become so different? Why can we no longer understand each other? What did we do wrong? When individuals are separated, they develop in different ways. When they get back together, they don't always get along. Kaden! If this is the individuality you value, we question your judgment. This topic is irrelevant. We must return to the mission. I uh, I always think of Caden right there, right? Then I think Shepard may... That's, that's what I think of Shepard thinking of, is like... Her and Caden were like on a very similar trajectory, and then they separated, and then they get back together, and they're on very different trajectories, you know? And so, like, obviously she loves Thane now, and, but it's like there's still, like, you know, there's still, I think, would be a pang in your heart for that sort of loss of companionship, of friendship, and understanding, you know? Have you reached a decision about whether to rewrite the heretics or not? We are still trying to build consensus. Some processes judge destruction preferable, others rewrite. Let's keep moving. Yes. Yeah, there isn't gonna be a consensus on that. I have to do it. Well, I think that's quite enough of that for now. Oh my gosh, if you guys made it through that, I appreciate it. I enjoy talking about things that I find interesting, but I realize that it can get a bit pedantic. So I do try to limit it, but it doesn't always happen so anyway if you liked it that's really cool <laughs> uh, believe me the next video I do put in actually a note on the video itself saying skip ahead to this point if you want to avoid me <laughs> moralizing about this decision um, it's just really fascinating it's fascinating stuff so but I did have to cut it off here uh, because as per usual the um most of the companion missions ended up being a little bit too long to just be one video so thank you all so much for watching i appreciate it really quick i want to thank you to my patrons to all my patrons but to especially Reese my sapling tier patron thank you so much for your support and an extra special shout out to my two tree tier patrons adam and christopher Thank you guys so, so much for your support. You guys are the super bestest, and I really do appreciate it a lot. I think it's actually the next video that, Adam, I am a little bit more coherent about the uh, your potential upgrade to tree tier, which is just how I'm treating it for now. So um, you expect to hear from about that again, I guess, if you're watching this. So thank you guys again for supporting me. Thank you all the viewers for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.